What's going on guys? It's uh, me, Joseph Haynes, and my uh, lovely associate, Joe Blome. And today we're working on this uh, 95 Miata with an 05 Miata engine in it. Now, with it being an 05, this is uh, gonna have a crankshaft and a camshaft position sensor, so we're gonna use this vehicle today. All right, what's up guys? So, right here, we have a camshaft position sensor. Located okay, on the top to the left of the engine. Um, down and below here, these wires go to the crankshaft position sensor, which is down here, and we are wired into this connector. So for the camshaft position sensor, the red and white wire is the 12 volt supply. Between that, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a violet wire in the middle. That is the signal wire. And then the blue and black wire is the ground. For the camshaft position sensor, the black and blue wire is the ground again. The middle wire there, the white and blue, or the gray and blue, is the signal wire. And then the red and white one is the 12 volts power supply. So both of the sensors on here are going to be the magneto resistive uh, sensors. So they're going to be similar to a Hall effect sensor where instead of with a, a magneto sensor, it gives an analog signal. These ones will give a digital signal, kind of like a Hall effect. So with these ones, um, they will get voltage from the PCM and it will also ground out of the PCM. So you've got one wire that's providing uh, power to the sensor from the PCM and then the ground will also lead to the PCM. On this engine, the crankshaft position sensor uh, sends a signal to the PCM and that's going to register in the PCM as the RPM of the engine. Uh, with the crankshaft position sensor, um, the signal that it's sending back to the PCM is the top dead center position of the compression stroke on cylinder one and that is mainly to time the fuel injectors throughout the whole system to be timed correctly. So we have the trusty Pico scope hooked up here uh, onto the signal wire and the ground wire of the camshaft position sensor and then to the signal and ground wire of the crankshaft position sensor. The blue graph represents the crankshaft position sensor and the red graph represents the camshaft position sensor. So I'm gonna have him start it up and I'll show you the results. With the engine idling, you can see that the blue graph of the crankshaft position sensor is measuring every 90 degrees in rotation. The red graph is measuring top dead center of the compression stroke for cylinder number four. As he's bringing it up the RPM, the frequency of each signal increases. So now it's measuring about 120 hertz for 90 degrees crankshaft rotation and 45 hertz to 60 hertz for each piston, cylinder one piston compression stroke. So for a better view, I took a screenshot of the picoscope and the actual graph. Uh, so for once again for reference, the blue graph is the crank position sensor and then the red graph is the cam position sensor. So we can see here at idle, this is the first picture, but at idle, um, the blue wire, or the blue graph is measuring each 90 degrees in rotation of the crankshaft, uh, while the red graph is measuring top dead center of the compression stroke. Uh, it's at about, the crankshaft position sensor is at a frequency of about 65 hertz, while the camshaft position sensor is at a frequency of about 25 hertz. Um, as idle increases, or as the RPM increases, the frequency will go up. This is the view at about uh, 2,000 RPMs. Um, this, as you can see from what I said previously, the frequency did increase, and you can definitely see that it is regist registering each position more frequently based on how fast the engine's running. So the crankshaft is moved up about twice the amount it was reading before, a little bit more, and same with the camshaft.